हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्ण ओम अन्यानतमरांद से ज्ञानांजलाचलाकया चक्षुर्मिल तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य स्थापित भूतले स्वयं ददाती स्वपदाति कम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु लीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विषपानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय कल्पत रूप्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गादारा श्रीवात्सादि गौरभक्त बृंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरि हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरि हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरि हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरि हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरि हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरि हरे सो हरे कृष्ण so let's start yeah let's play our obeisances to shishi radha govinda these are the deities as i said in mangalore so now uh, we yesterday a quick uh, wrap up we were seeing a lot of content in terms of uh, what is bhagavad gita where did it come from what is the purpose of gita and a quick summary of the verses right krishna spoke 574 verses Arjuna eighty four, Sanjaya forty one, and Durjarashtra one. So the Bhagavad Gita opened with uh, Durjarashtra's one verse, and uh, now I am going to ask you all one question. So I am going to start with the question. And we all know Arjuna spoke a lot in the first chapter. When does Krishna speak for the first time? When does Krishna in the entire Bhagavad Gita speak for the first time? In second chapter, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. Two point seven. Okay, second chapter. Sure. So Hare Krishna. Anybody wants to change the answer, or should we freeze in second chapter? This third chapter, Mata Ji. Third chapter. Okay. Somebody is telling third chapter. Okay. So any other answers? Somebody is saying second chapter. Uh, Ananya is more specific. Two point seven. Somebody is telling third chapter. Any other answers? Second, second chapter. Second chapter. Okay. so majority second chapter any any other answers right okay so let's uh, okay so is there anyone who says that arjuna uh, sorry krishna spoke in the first chapter is there anyone saying krishna spoke in the first chapter yes no okay so this one let's have the same question again discuss so now we will move on i will give you the answer at the end of the session right so 2.11 mata ji okay so let's see so let's start our journey now okay very quickly what it's bhagavad gita discuss five things ishwara jiva prakriti kala 
and karma, right? Which the first four is eternal and the fifth one, karma, which we are very scared, is temporary. So such a beautiful Krishna. Hare Krishna. And uh, we will run away from all this because we already saw all of this, right? So and the mood we saw that we will continue the same mood that of Arjuna, right? So that we uh, do. So what is happening? We saw the first four reasons, right? So the first four reasons, what are the four reasons we saw in chapter one uh, is what we are going to discuss. And this chapter is going to come later. So now what is happening? So let's begin the journey. And quick summary is between one and 27. We have introduced preparation to war, right? So we completed this one. And um, this has a, a small division, which we are yet to complete today, which means introduction of preparation of war. We finished. We also saw signs of victory. Krishna as Bhakta Vatsala. So what is Bhakta Vatsala? Bhakta Vatsala is what he, how much, see, we surrender to Krishna is one thing. How much Krishna surrenders? Right here in the picture we can see. Right? So what is Krishna doing? Right? Can you see? He actually goes to the extent, Krishna, he goes to the extent of being a driver, charioteer. Right? So now, uh, just that he is a driver, can you say that he has come down on his position? You may be anyone, you may be a CEO of the company, you may be a part taker of any business, but just because you're going to drive a car of someone does not make anyone a driver, right? Same way Krishna is a charioteer, but he is called Achyudha, which means he does not fall down. He does not come down from his elevated position of, you know, of, of what? Of he being the uh, supreme personality of Godhead. So why is he a chariot driver? One is this shows that he's a Batsa Batsala and he is completely listening to his devotee. Now, what more topic will come? He's also doing it because, you know, Arjuna is his cousin. He's his relative and we don't have any relationship. We are not related to Krishna. Why would Krishna do? No, no, no. Krishna is related to us also and we are related to Krishna also. How are we related? We are related in five levels, right? Five relationships we have with Krishna. What are the five relationships which we have with Krishna? Can anyone tell what are the five relationships with which we, uh, yesterday I told you? How are we relating to Krishna in five ways? One is Vatsalya. Friend. Yes, friend. Dasya. Dasya. Uh, Sakha. Madhurya. Madhurya. Rasa. Madhurya. Yes. One more. One more is there. <laughs> Shantarasa. Perfect. So we'll start with Shantaras, which means serving Krishna in neutrality. Above that, we have what you said, Dasya Ras, Hanuman. Above that, we have Saki, Saki Sakya Ras. Yeah, friend. And above that is Vatsalya Ras, parental form. All Nand Maharaj, Deviki, all of them come in the category. Above that, we have Madhurya Rasa. Not only Radha, Radha Rani is highest in that, all the gopis are in that category. Right, all the queens, all of them come under the Madhuryaras. Okay, now back to our presentation. So, what is happening now? We are opening this chapter with our Sanjaya, uh, sorry, Dhrutrashtra speaking. What is happening? You know, in the battlefield, what will they do? They will not watch a movie, right? They are going to fight. But he is so suspicious. So, he's asking, What is happening? And it shows the mentality, you know, Mamaka, you know, what does it mean? Like he is differentiating and trying to break, uh, you know, relationship. Uh, and uh, of Pandavas and Kurus by calling my children and Pandavas, right? So, so bad kind of a treatment, right? And Kimakurvatha, right? And what is it? What are they doing, right? That's a very weird and funny question, right? Uh, and Dharma Kshetra, you know, is so pure. And our, uh, you know, our man speaks about the military formations and all that. And Duryodhana starts with insulting and being sarcastic to his actual spiritual master, Right? See, look at his face. I didn't give you a close up yesterday because I didn't want to scare you. So now I'm now that you know we become all bold because we've seen Krishna so much yesterday. I thought I'll give you a close up view of that. So now Duryodhana talks so high about the opponent party. You know his military politics is showed here, and then he after listing enemy party, he is now promoting his party. Our people are no less. We have Bhishma starting with Dronacharya. We have Bhishma whole list he is pouring it down and after all that he is also promoting his uh, uh, you know soldiers by saying 
keep them out you know don't uh, uh, you have to be protective to our grand sire you know because bishma is old it's giving them so much of importance right and um, this is how he is trying to do and then finally what he is also trying to do is compare bishma uh, valent nature and trying to degrade bishma's nature also which shows that he has a eminent threat with bishma ah uh, sorry bima right because he he is always scared of bima and he knows that his death is going to come in the form of bima or through bima okay so now everyone stand the cot shells now krishna's cot shell shattered the hearts right so what happened so this when and the, so 1.14 cops about the hero right both the heroes are entering with five horses such beautiful horses uh now a quick question who gifted krishna with uh, not krishna what about chariot which krishna is driving who gifted the chariot to arjuna agni dev yes very beautiful agni dev fire god right so fire god gifted the chariot to him right and uh, so this is what is going on so but so what no, i should be asking this what is krishna's conchel name Panchanya. Hare Krishna. Super. Panchanya. Arjuna's. Devdatta. Devdatta. Yeah. So I'm not going to ask all because I'm sure you all will learn. And now this is a question which I asked you all yesterday. There are a lot of uh, things, names. How many names of Krishna is spoken? Eleven. In? Not first chapter. All put together. How many? Oh, Thank you so much for the try. And how many are Arjuna's? how many arjunas how many of arjunas name but thank you so much that's so nice you done some homework to tell 11 i'm so yeah three names of arjuna and one name of bhim yeah are you sorry i've got so many uh, typing in also how did i miss so nice we should uh, read are you krishna okay thank you ananya thank you uh, devotee sham devotee manjari okay panchajanya okay Nice, yeah. Arjun is three names, I think. Dhananjay, okay, Sathya, so and Good. 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 but level 2 you know you don't need to memorize the names but every name creates the mood right with what mood the conversation is going on so just like this right like when your mom right calls you with your pet name you know she's calling you out of block but when she calls you really with the full name which is pretty rare you know like she's serious right you have to pay attention so name and the way in which a name is called is significant it's likewise every time arjuna calls krishna you will see a lot of this happening right how uh, what is he meaning what is he trying to incur what is he trying to communicate to krishna all this so i will take you all to the extent i know of all the names which are going to come and what he is meaning right and, uh, also you know the blowing of conch shell gave them half the victory right and we saw a lot now i am going to ask you all now put the signs of victory pandavas what are the signs of victory of pandavas कपित Me. Absolutely. Point. Thank you, Prabhu. Very important. Krishna is there. One more. Symbol of Vishnu. The aura of Kurukshetra. Yeah, but someone told Kurukshetra. Yeah. Just one more. You're left. Moksha Ekadashi. Ah, Moksha Ekadashi. And one more also be left, which we already spoke today. Lakshmi. Uh, Lakshmi. 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 Function. chariot this time you left the chariot to be listed so right so all of them so nine of them right conchel and chariot we already discussed so that's included uh, but this time so nice all of you all are paying so much attention i'm so happy 
Hare Krishna. Right now, let's start our continuation of the journey. All ready. Now, Arjuna is getting ready. Now, Arjuna is requests first touch, infallible Lord. Why? Because even though he's a he's actually a driver, he's not going to fall off his position of supreme personality of Godhead. That is why Arjuna is requesting infallible Lord, right? The first to draw the chariot in the middle of the battlefield. How is it, you know what, look at the way he is talking, he's polite, but still look at the way, right? Take me there, right? Like a little driver. And Krishna is also following the restriction. Yes, sir, right? Taking, that is the quality of Krishna, Bhakta Vatsala. You'll see so many qualities of Krishna as Bhakta Vatsala, you know, and there is a competition always between Krishna and the devotees, always, you know. What is the competition? Who will serve more? Devotees are constantly competing. I will serve more. Krishna is competing. No, I will serve him more. So this competition is going on and on and is still continuing. Right? So that is a speciality of both. Right? So Krishna requests infallible Lord to draw his chariot in the middle of the battlefield. So let's start. Hare Krishna. Navacha sene yorubayor matye Ratam stapaya me chuta Yavad etani rikshayam Yudo kaman avastitan Tair maya sahayo davyam Asmin rana samudyami. So, Sani or Ubayavati, take me in the middle of the army. Why? So, normally, I think this example. Uh, women will know so, so well, right? So if you're going to make something, what will you do? When you're cooking, you will make sure that the ingredients are there. Especially when you're, let's say, going to a new place, what will you do? You will see, okay, salt there, is gas there, water is there. You make enough quick judgments. Same way, Prabhu's when you are probably are going and driving the car, right? apply to all. They always say a sensible person quickly checks if the brakes are working, if things are in place, you know, all these fuel is there. Is the air, you know, if the tires are not gone flat. So we do a quick homework uh, before we do a task, right? Uh, so as for the exam, kids, you know, take, make sure that the pen, uh, you know, have ink filled or no, of course, we don't have the concept of ink. Uh, the gel pens are there, enough gel pens are there and all that is taken care of. Likewise, we have um, Arjuna wanting to estimate and his mood is he wants to have an, any smart, intelligent person will evaluate. But now he also wants to evaluate because he knows Duryodhana is a bad person and he wants to know how many of them are in his state, right? So we will see this, right? So he now, um, you know, goes on. He says, please take the chariot right in the Hare Krishna, right? So he wants to go and see this. So he's saying Arjuna wants to see Sorry, I think I just lost the slide. Yes. So Arjuna wants to see who have come to fight because he wants to know who is pleasing this Duryodhana. Duryodhana kind of people also have some fan clubs. Right? So we all know normally bad people have more fan clubs. You know? So very clearly here it is explained what he never fails in affection for devotees. Why Achyuda infallible is told, right? And he doesn't carry on the oil, he doesn't hesitate. That is why. Bhakti is very difficult benediction because he literally gets sold. And his supreme uh -huh. position, Rishikesha, because he, what does Rishikesha mean? Anyone can tell what does Rishikesha mean? The conqueror of senses. Ah, so he, uh, you know, can, he conquers, right? He control uh, senses. So therefore, you know, his position reminds me. Thank you, Prabhu. Very nice. Hare Krishna. And what is the analogy given by Prabhupada? Birds of a feather flock together, which means who are these set of people who are running with Duryodhana? That means the entire gang should be horrible, right? Because anyone, they always say two things. They always say that estimate the friend, estimate a person by his association of friends. So whoever is supporting is an example. Now, what is the relationship between the Lord and the devotee? It's so sweet and transcendental. I told you, competition is going on, right? And by Arjuna, we told. Because Arjuna does not want to fight because he's forced to fight. Right? And he's always anxious. He says he wants to see who is, you know, leading Duryodhana, just as we so, spoke now. And to see how much they are all bent upon fighting. You know, he wants to make an also estimate of their strength, face to face, their confidence, body language and all that. Uh, he is not really having any intention of peacemaking. He's ready for the war, right? He's having his Gandhi Babu, ready, ready and to hit. So this is what it is. So let's now what Krishna is. Krishna is also very smart. He is now 
you know, you just imagine. Now, all of you, I hope you all are in the battlefield. You're none of you all are going to be in. We are not going to be in the class. We are all straight in the battlefield, right? Seeing through Divya Drishti, even though we don't have Divya Drishti, Krishna has given us Drishti. So let's imagine and go right into the field and see Krishna taking, driving those. What do you say? Not driving, riding those lovely five horses and Arjuna come going along with him. Right. So let's read this. Sanjaya vacha evam upto rishi kesho guda keshe na bharata. Hare Krishna, who's going to read now? Sanjay said, Sanjay said, O oh, descendant of Bharata, having thus, be, thus been addressed by Arjuna, Lord Krishna drew up his fine chariot in the midst of the armies of the both parties. So now Arjuna's instruction, Krishna is just following. Now, why do they call uh, Arjuna as descendant of Bharata? I told every name we will discuss for a minute, right? So, descendant of Bharata. Anyone knows why Arjuna is called the descendant of Bharata? Okay. So, yeah, I've got a lot of answers in the chat. Let me check. Meanwhile, you can type what? Okay. Sure, sure. Hare Krishna. Uh, so what is happening is descendant of Bharata is because you all know Bharat Vanch. Bharat Vanch is not just the Hindustan, you know, our Hindustan, not just the India. It was the entire world was called Bharat Vanch, named after Bharata Maharaj. So Bharata Maharaj was the son of Rishabhadev. Who is Rishabhadev? He is an incarnation of Krishna himself. He had hundred sons and his first son is Bharat. And he was so smart, so intelligent, so handsome, and he ruled the kingdom so well. And his dynasty is supposed to be very brave. And that dynasty is what Arjuna is coming from. That is why he is called descendant of Bharata. Right? And now Gudakesha, this you should tell me. Why is Arjuna called Gudakesha? Gudakesha means who conquered that sleep? Conqueror of sleep. Yes, lovely. Conqueror of sleep. And with means conqueror of ignorance. He has one speciality. He can actually see even in the dark because he trained himself. He used to not sleep and go and, uh, you know, uh, release uh, uh, you know, all his uh, bow, arrow he used to take and practice in the night. So he could fight even in complete darkness, right? So Gudakesha is a conqueror of sleep, which means he conquers ignorance also. For me, it's very difficult. If there is no light, I will take the mobile and put light. Otherwise, I won't know where to get off from the bed also. Krishna. So now I want you to pay attention to this verse. Hare Krishna. Bhishma Drona Pramukhataha Sarvesham Chama Hishitam Uva Chapartha Pashetan Samavetan Kurun Iti Hare Krishna. In the presence of Bhishma, Drona, and all the other chieftains of the world, the Lord said, just behold, Partha, all the Kurus assembled here. Hare Krishna. Who is saying this? Krishna is saying. So he is speaking in chapter 1. Thank you so much. I am so glad you could relate. So Krishna is speaking in the first chapter, 1.25. Just behold Partha. He is telling him to behold what? He is only riding. What is he telling to behold? He is him to behold his mind. His mind is running. He is able to predict, okay, Arjuna will start. So he is telling, behold Partha, right? Which Krishna tells not only to Arjuna, to us also. If we are into something wrong, you know, Krishna, Paramatma speaks from our heart. He says, you know, he tells us, right? Hey, behold. But we won't hear. We will close our ears. Just like how we never realized Krishna spoke. Did you see? All of us have read this chapter one and it's same for me also. Even I guessed it like second chapter. Later I realized, oh my Krishna, Krishna has spoken in the first chapter, 25th verse, hinting him, don't let your mind wander. But forget about Arjuna listening. We also never noticed him, right? That is what is happening. For me, it happens. I don't know about y'all. Do y'all have, do we have anyone? The moment Krishna speaks, okay, 
we don't even hear yes or no am i alone or do i have company yes yes you have the company ah have thank company. you so much see i have one ah thank you i have almost half a century company out here hare krishna so what is happening lord knows arjuna's mind and thus he knows everything being the supreme of all living things why because krishna knows everybody's mind and he guesses arjuna's mind and why is arjuna is referred as partha one more thing partha because it indicates he is a son of his aunt i told one more name of arjuna he is partha he is means son of his aunt prita so now in 1.26 arjuna sees all the relative see his mood of approach see his mood now he is coming telling he wants to judge who are these people bird of you know bird of similar feathers who talk together i have to estimate their power and finish them right with his gandiva and he is standing and that's his position when he is entering you know and then as soon as he goes there you know he is seeing relatives and Krishna also does one very smart thing. He takes a chariot in the middle and does not place before Duryodhana. He keeps it before Drona Charya and Bhishma. All this to uh, evolve. Just one second. Uh, I will uh, mute. So I am just muting all. You all can of course unmute. Hare Krishna. So therefore, what is happening? He is looking here, left, right, center, left, right, center. I want everyone to carry a paper and a pencil, not necessarily to make notes, but some questions will need some answers to be written. So I just want uh, you all to uh, write down. Uh, you know, I'll just pause for a second, and if you all can just take a paper and pencil um, and just make a note of your ten favorite people in your family, or five. Just put five favorite people in your family. right who are presently there right presently there in the sense who are currently living let's not take great grandmother and all because we always love grandmoms and all but whoever are uh, you know currently alive write names of five of them just a small request is that okay have you written one tick tick two tick tick three tick tick four tick tick five i won't ask you the paper so you can just write in short right so what is arjuna doing father and mother decide teacher decide friends decide uncle decide 365 degree view all our kurus all kurus who are supposed to be enemies are all become his family oh my krishna he is telling my enemies now 1.27 so what is happening prabhu on to you hare krishna when the son of kunti arjuna saw all the different grades of friends and relatives he became overwhelmed and compassion and spoke thus hey krishna thank you mata ji so compassion starting off he is so compassionate now tell me one thing is arjuna scared yes or no yes yes no. he is scared is he is scared that the enemies will defeat him no 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 that all are uh, his relatives yeah thank you so much maybe he is emotionally scared he is not scared of the defeat but he is very compassionate he feels oh my god these are my family right so how can i do so this is this mood right now with this mood let's jump to section b 1.28 to 1.46 arjuna's doubts and lamentation this is where the chapter starts right so we are talking about what are arjuna's symptoms uh mother ji continue reading these symptoms parts of body limbs mouth whole body each each of, of limbs the quivering that way okay limbs quivering mouth drying up whole body trembling hair of the body standing on the end hands gandhi bow slipping skin burning legs unable to stand any longer due to impatience forgetting myself and mind reeling due to wellness due to weakness of the heart and ninth one is not clear yeah. the screen is clear for me also not visible yes mm-hmm. not visible i will do that uh, see only causes of misfortune I'll show you. So these are the nine things, right? So he is able to see all this. You know, largely are the qualities of. Um, can you see now? Sees only causes of misfortune. I'll have it raised. Sorry about it. So uh, 
uh, what is uh, what are they saying? He's saying that these are all the uh, you know causes of misfortune. These are all qualities. Uh, which are not very common, right? Now, sometimes women can relate this crying and all that. For a see, for men also cry, but for a Kshatriya, you know, even if they lose an arm and an eye, they are so bold, right? They will not let the pain be taken over. That is the speciality of the of all of them. So that is what they are saying, right? But look at uh, Arjuna. Can you see him crying literally? Gandhi Baba has a special significance. Significance is no matter what happens, Arjuna will never, never give up on Gandhi Babu. He is also taken a bow that if anyone insults him, he will tolerate. But anyone he insults Gandhi Babu, <laughs> he will immediately at once finish the person. He is so obsessed with Gandhi Babu. So imagine these are Arjuna's symptoms, and all these symptoms are very contradictory to his personality, right? So, body is trembling, Gandhi Babu sleeping, skin burning. When are these symptoms visible? In two occasions. When you are complete spiritual ecstasy, right? Is Arjuna in spiritual ecstasy now? <laughs> no, he is in the fear. Ah, exactly, he is in the mode of fear. So, what? how can you do? In spiritual ecstasy, you do not have fear. You only enjoy. All this happens, but like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he went through a lot of body shivering and all, but it's out of spiritual ecstasy. But here, in constant fear, I think most of us face the second one. In fear, we've experienced all this, right? Great fear of material condition. Arjuna's symptom due to fear, due to loss of life, material conception of life. We are a product of matter and we are the material. Right now, we are seeing we are the body, right? And therefore, we can't hurt anyone. So that is what is happening. So this is the first thing, compassion. Because of compassion, he is struggling. So this is what is happening. So Arjuna's further symptom and sees causes of misfortune in 1.30. Uh, yes, one of you all can read. Hare Krishna. I am now unable to stand here any longer. I am forgetting myself and my mind is reeling. I see only cause of misfortune, O Krishna, killer of the Keshi demon. Now see Keshi. Where is Keshi? Who is Keshi? Keshi is that huge... It's a demon. It's an asura, like the horse kind of asura, which Krishna killed. Now he's calling him, can you see, from Krishna, Madhusudana, and all, he's gone to Keshi demon. What is he saying? Krishna, Krishna, you have killed a demon. It's easy for you, right? Can you see indirectly he's telling, it's, it's okay because you killed demon. I am going through trauma here because I am having my family, right? He's bringing that. That's why he said, oh, Krishna, killer of the Keshi demon. So sweetly he's putting it across. Did you notice? And yes. I said significance, right? So Krishna is indirectly telling, hey, Krishna, you killed the demon and you want me to kill my family. You know, that's the expression he is giving. So this is the first thing. Now the second, oh, I should be asking. Okay, now I'll ask this question next chapter. First time, not though it's okay. But still I can try. Do you all remember the four um, lamentations of Arjuna in the first chapter? First we saw compassion. Do you remember the balance three? Illusion. Illusion is errors for us, but what are the, um, what are Arjuna's, uh, you know, actual lamentation? Lamentation means what is he feeling bad about? Uh, indecision, uh, indecision, indecisiveness. Perfect. Indecisiveness is also one, but that come in chapter second. Loss of family tradition. Compassion. Compassion. Compassion, yes. Yes, yes thank you. Yes, family tradition. Sin, yes. Manjari Mataji, perfect sin. So all four are coming. So we'll see one after the other. We just saw compassion. So let's go to the next. Uh, so in verse 1.31, no enjoyment. He's going to talk about no enjoyment. What is it, no enjoyment? So let's, um, uh, you know, before we move to this no enjoyment, I just want you all to have a look at that sheet which you wrote, five relatives. And now if I give you a gun or someone gives you a gun and tells you, shoot all five of them, how would you feel? How do you feel? Terrified. Wow. How else? I would freeze. I would not know what to do. Like, you know, I won't know how to even react. And many others, come on. In the chat is open. So quickly type, what are the various feelings? I would like to know, you know, the five names, whoever wrote, I'm sure all of you wrote, 
you know so if you can just tell what is your feeling if you're given a gun shoot now one two three four five astonishing okay thank you meena so only two of them have feelings i think the rest of the rest only three of us have feelings rest of them are comfortable they'll just take the gun and okay some more are coming guru shah is telling terrified we will think what what will happen next ah what will happen better to surrender <laughs> i love the nitho might as well surrender kamalakar uh, devotee is telling you bewildered uh, bewildered yeah confused disheartening yes manjri your heart is breaking very sweet yeah pop will like, come yeah you use pop. the right word sin I mean, will come yes prabhu very sin sad will, and bewildered sin, sin will come sin yeah sin will come as a different point but i'm just telling uh, very very sad and okay. uh, bewildered and confused you know yeah. how can somebody say like that yeah exactly that's this position so can you now in the battlefield thing we don't know uh, they can boldly give us a bow and arrow because anyway our uh, aim is so bad that we will not be able to shoot anyone but uh, if you give a gun there is a possibility that we may hit off the person right so uh, we'll shoot self so oh my god devoti raja okay i will die i will reach god uh, devoti raja if you shoot yourself you will not reach god you will be hanging here because that is suicide and the ghost will be here without body so there is if everybody can reach god by killing themselves then all the um, pure devotees should have killed themselves that shortcut is not there yeah yeah this was nice preeti i will kill myself in spite of my family very sweet so can you see the mood this is the feeling arjuna is having right and isn't arjuna right yes or no is he right about his feeling or is he wrong yes he is yes, right yeah so when i read i was totally convinced he's so right he's so nice right and uh, when i was um, teaching the college students they said oh, arjuna arjuna the hero became arjuna and he is the hero of course right so that's the feeling so now let's move to the next uh, thing confused yeah i know by now even i got confused my god what a situation so 1.31 let's read further hare krishna i do not see how any good can come from killing my own kinsmen in this battle nor can i my dear krishna desire any subsequent victory kingdom or happiness hare krishna so you saying i um do not see any good okay this is also something which we have to believe nor can i uh, see my dear krishna you know very lovable again family na is there any subsequent victory it's very simple will any of you all you know you have a huge house beautiful house in a very big island okay all decorated lot of money and you alone do you like it no nobody will be there no friend no relative no family no 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 do we have any you may tell that i may like it for a day because we are stressed but if that is your life will you like it no never no no you need people exactly now arjuna feels like that boss i will get the kingdom i will get everything but my people gone na so what will i do i am not going to enjoy it's like first thing just think and i am sure you know men can relate the moment in office when they are told they are promoted right or even women who get the first thing what will happen is are when the boss will move out because i just have to call my spouse or my mom and share this news you know that three it will be only five the boss is not going to talk to you beyond 5 minutes but that one minute only your promoted will go into the mind balance 4 minutes is you know they are mentally out they are already traveled to the house and they want to share yes sir yes yeah so finish true. boss is there you don't know his boss his boss his boss you know you tell but we nothing is in the head when will he finish i want to pick up at least one sms i want to send at least one whatsapp message right and that time you know you will see what we do i don't know about men but i know for women for sure all of us immediately will run to the restroom because that is where we can give our expressions out right and call and tell you know, mummy mummy oh, i got this you know and we can give all the expressions and that to just imagine a person like me where i cannot be like very shant very calm i can't talk like this right i can't do a machine talk with all it that's a place we run and share so now arjuna just imagine you run and you don't have any place any person to share right all of us may have great mobiles but what do we do we call our closest people whether we have a small mobile or a great mobile right so it's not the thing we want to call and relate to people whom we love that is missing for me says okay i'll win but whom do i talk to whom will i share with my acharya is gone my pitama because arjuna you know one story he used to go to bishma when he was small he was a small boy he used to call him papa he used to call him daddy right in in their language and uh, bishma said no 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 i am your dad's dad right 
so that's how he used to tell because he was so small he didn't know the difference and that's how he grew up because bishma pitama used to really pamper him because of one more reason not because he was partial it was also because of two reason duryodhana was all powerful and he was considered he default king that but he was so arrogant from childhood and uh, bishma also used to think this fellow as he grows you know he will change he will change a spoiled child now these pandavas came and you no know, they were so sweet they were so compassionate so this compassion is not now he grew with that thought of compassion right and so sweet they were and they were like contrast and therefore you know and since they never had the parents and these kurus were so bad automatically you know bishma pitama took the father role and pampered them also so imagine that role if somebody is taking right is very close to the heart right so this is what happens so so that's the situation right he just can't see any enjoyment so this is going arjuna is not ready to fight even in exchange of three worlds right just now someone told i will die i'll kill myself i will surrender he's also the same like he's like us right he's saying okay i am not ready i will okay fine let them take it right he's come to that conclusion and now all verses put together now two went right enjoyment see from now on he is going to now refer a lot of books reference to context to like get marks from krishna he is giving various reasons right now two things he is convinced now he is already made up his mind oh my god i don't want to fight so now he is bringing in the third point sinful reaction all excuses will come on to you please go ahead and read hare krishna sin will overcome us if you slay such aggressor aggressors therefore it is not proper for us to kill the sons of dhritarashtra and our friends what should we gain o krishna husband of the goddess fortune and how could we be happy by killing our own kinsmen hari krishna so what is he saying right sin will overcome us right he, he, killing our own uh, uh, kinsmen right he is telling sin will overcome us if we slay our uh, such aggressors our own family we cannot kill even though they are bad therefore it's not proper for us to kill the sons of dhritarash pa concluded and our friends right what should we gain oh krishna husband of goddess of fortune one more line goddess of fortune what is he telling krishna you are so good goddess of fortune is supposed to give fortune you are telling me to kill and incur sin which is like getting me misfortune he is giving all indirectly he can't he is he loves krishna so much he is not able to accuse him but indirectly he is putting all these words for krishna to tell how can you god as husband of fortune god husband of god as of fortune think of something you know wrong you know how can you even think like that is what he is telling right and how could we be happy by killing our own kingsmen now he has started his story right so we will see what he is saying now and still continue so that is why he is telling but krishna is not our sagan we will see all this now six kind of aggressors what are the six ah can anyone list who are the six kind of aggressors we have already read in level 1 arjun givar ah oh, sorry yes arjun next arjun givar one more all each one of you will tell one one we agree disrespecting their own daughter said ah, they are in law house yeah so more than that is slightly i may modify that by telling that trying to kidnap somebody's wife any any lady for that matter not right mother ji can you repeat that the question, question. Did you the question is what are the six kind of aggressors which means who are the six people who can be killed technically see not only killing is considered sinful right but there are six categories six people six <coughs> aggressors they are considered in shastras as aggressors and there is no sin that will be incurred if you kill them if they have committed these, these six mistakes in their life who gives poison to others sorry poison who gives poison yes hare krishna yes mother and who steals gold yes wealth ponderer of wealth yes thank you cheaters of wealth and who sets cheaters. fire to other houses Yes, very nice. And thank you so much, Jitu Mataji. Also, also message. Who sets fire to other house? Yes, Ananya Mataji. Who steals others' property, other people's wives? Yes, Hare Krishna. And who burns down houses? Yes, cheater. One more left. Five covered. 
So let me quickly show you the four. Attacks, attacks with the deadly weapons. Ah, perfect. Attacks with deadly weapons. All six. Superb. So he's a poison giver. Now let's quickly see what and all they have done. Poison they have given to Bhishma when he was, uh, Bish, I mean, sorry, they have given to Bhima when he was small. Sets the house on fire. You all know they try to burn them completely. They set their house on fire. Attacks with deadly weapons that also literally they have done. If you notice, uh, you know, they have gone to the extent uh, during Rajasuya Yagna, they took the weapons literally trying to attack. Plunder, uh, plunderer of riches, that's exactly what they did. Took away their money, occupied their land and kidnap others. Right? See, they did not kidnap uh, Draupati, but this act was worse than that, right? In Rama's case, Ravana kidnapped. But in this case, this was even worse. Like how she beautifully explained, daughter-in-law insulting is worse than that. They can be killed as punishment and no sinful reaction. So you will not incur a sin any of the six, uh, with any of the six aggressors. Kauravas did all six kinds of aggression on Pan for Pandavas. Hence, killing them would not give any sinful reaction. So Arjuna now is going to call Krishna as Madhava. Why? He's telling Madhava, that means don't engage me in such thing. It's, it's misfortunate. It is wrong. Never, you know, but Krishna never brings misfortune. We all know. That to imagine, will he even think of a misfortune for devotees? He's trying to protect his devotees. But he's telling, don't do the sinful act. He's now, uh, Arjuna is telling Krishna, 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 don't engage me in this sinful act. You killed only Keshi demon, right? But I am doing my family, right? Now the next uh, thing is destruction of uh, family, uh, destruction of dynasty, right? Hare Krishna. Oh, Janardana, although these men, their hearts were taken by greed, See no fault in killing one's family or quarreling with friends. Why should we, who can see the crime in destroying a family, engage in these acts of sin? He's telling, oh, Janardana. What do you mean by Janardana? Anyone knows the meaning of Janardana? The Almighty. Oh, Almighty, okay. But specific meaning of Janardana. Jana means Jana maintaining people, all people, life entities. People, people, maintainer of... Maintainer of all life, all, exactly. living, all living beings. Thank all you so much. of uh, uh, all living beings. Perfect. Jana means people. So, right? And that's perfect, Prabhu. And what you said is also right, uh, Mataji. He's saying that protector of Jana, right? He is a maintainer, protector. Therefore, he is telling, you are that. And what are you telling? You are telling opposite to what you're actually. So, he's indirectly trying to, you know, Appreciate him, tell him, you know, all, you know, we'll try everything possible if we don't want to do something, right? That is exactly what Krishna, with Krishna, Arjuna is doing. Although these men, their hearts overtaken by greed, see no fault. He is now telling, comparing. I know their uh, heart is full of greed. They do not have any fault killing their own family. But why are we going to do the same thing? Many times we'll have our mothers tell this, right? It's okay, ma. even if he is fighting, it's okay. You don't. Have you all come across that situation? Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. You'll see. Yeah, thank you so much, Prabhu. You, sometimes you'll have such a horrible relative and you'll think that why this person is doing this? You know, I'm going to like really do something. You'll be like, all mom will come and tell, it's okay, ma. They are only like that. Why you want to think in their way? Don't do that. Chowdo, leave it. Right? Same thing he is telling. Why should we? Who can see the crime in destroying a family? We can see the crime. We know it's an act of sin. Right? And he will bring all examples, you know. Now, is Arjuna just talking out of his head? No. He is referring to Shastras also and telling all this. But his understanding at this stage of that reference of certain Shastras are limited. Even Manush, uh, Manush Marita says this, you know, all these are there. But what is he telling? Simple example. Father has to protect the son. Yes or no? It's yes. his prime duty. No yes. doubt, right? No yes. matter what. Prabhu, are you agreeing to me? Father has to protect the son no matter what. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Has an issue with yes. That? yes. Yeah, so, thank you so much. Universally, we agree. Now, the father happens to be the judge and this son has committed 10 murders. Now, will he kill the son or whatever? I mean, will he hang him or will he give a, uh, will he look at him as a criminal and give him a punishment or should he protect the son and give him an excuse? He has to punish the son. Are Prabhu, you just told me that you have to protect the son. Now you're telling you have to punish the son. No, when, when he is doing a good thing. In the situation. When he, when, when he is becoming a burden to the society, naturally we have to kill him. 
Yes, thank you so much, Prabhu. So basically, what is the job of the father protecting the son? Yes, but what is the job of the judge to give punishment? I think it's a position. Uh, which position you are? Uh, yes. As a judge, it's different. As a father, yes. it is different. Yes. So what is the job? Both the rules. It's the same person, right? It's not two different people. It's not that the judge is different. The father. It's the same role. But what is there? There are two dharmas called the para dharma and apara dharma, right? Para dharma is the highest among the dharma. Right, which you have to follow. So when you have two dharmas, what you have to take higher. One more example I tell. Sannyasis are not supposed to touch any women. Right? Now, suppose by chance, you know, the, in the next ashram or wherever, in the next house, wherever the, the, there is a fire and the lady is hurt. Should he tell, oh my God, I'm a sannyasi. I'm not supposed to touch that woman. Yes or no? <laughs> no. Yeah, so the rule differs. Depending okay. upon the situation, we have to act. Exactly. It applies to men also. Like, not just that a man is not supposed to touch another uh, person's wife. But in a situation of danger, you know, if she's just coming in the bike and she's, taken, she's fallen in an accident and the lorry is coming, you will not go and let me just call the husband who is 20 kilometer away in office, check who the husband is and call him and then tell him to lift her. No. You won't even realize whether the person who's fallen is a female, she's married, not married. No, right? You're all out to pull her. But, and you're not going to have the time and energy to tell another lady, 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 the girl is fallen. I can't touch a woman. Can you go and pull? No. Even if you're promised your wife, I will never touch. What will happen? Forget the promise. No life. Yes or no? So one promise Next time, don't tell me that, uh, you know, in the class, Mataji told me it is okay to make an exception. I'm telling in a genuine case, one, you know, for a higher cause, you can compromise a lower cause for a higher cause, right? So that is what is evidently shown. And the 1.39, let's hear for more destruction of dynasty. Hare Krishna. With, with the destruction of the dynasty, the eternal family tradition is van, van, vanquished. And thus, the rest of the family becomes involved in irrealism. Practice. Saying with the destruction of the family dynasty, right? When the family dynasty is getting destroyed, so what is happening? The rest of the family becomes involved in religion. So therefore, they do not know what to practice. See, do all of us, at least I learned Ramayana from my grandma. I'm sure, likewise, most of you would have actually learned a lot of things. And many times, right, when we have a function in the house, we do not have a manual to refer. We will look up to the elders and tell what should we do, right? What, uh, how we should do this. Even if it's a small deity worship at the very, uh, you know, house level work, we refer to the elders in the family. If they are not there, whom do we look at? So now Arjuna sees destruction of family. He says, because he's telling, he considered this as greed. Why? Because he thinks fighting is for the kingdom. And that's very and Right? And, yeah, exactly. So let me give up the kingdom. He understands the result of the family. His family will get destroyed, even if he wins, right? So he doesn't want to be participating. And one more point which we are forgetting is Arjuna is a Kshatriya. That is why he is calling, uh, Krishna is also referring, right? Prita, right? Why son of Prita? Why? It's not just aunt son. He is telling that you are my aunt son, you are Kshatriya. You know, he is also indirectly giving uh, it to Arjuna. He is telling Kshatriya of gambling or war that's mentioned right which is why Yudhishthira had to gamble not many of us feel uh, that Yudhishthira is a gambler you know no no it's not true he does not have control because over time since we all enjoy talking ill of people or you know like the Chinese secret keeps going on with different versions people start telling that Yudhishthira is a great gambler he is addicted no if he is addicted and if he is a great gambler he wouldn't be called great He's called great because none of this, but it is a rule that he cannot say no to any invitation for gambling and for war. And Arjuna sees the other party is blind, right, of this effect. Therefore, you know, they're just not bothered because of which he decides he will pull back. So what is happening? Destruction of dynasty, family traditions are vanquished. Family will get involved in irreligion. So according to him, Varnashra Dharma, how does he see this happening in Varnashra Dharma? He sees elder members are gone. Because elders are important for purifying, right? Purification is handled by elders. That is gone. This will stop the purification process. And young members will become irreligious. And there is completely loss of spiritual salvation. 
which technically is what is happening now. If you see, you know, we do not, we come as nuclear families, which are fine. So instead of, we do not have time because both husband and wife, we run for jobs. So the children, what we give is watch mobile or TV and remote. And that mobile and TV will talk things which can promote the channel, but it is not going to give spiritual knowledge. Even if it is giving spiritual knowledge, it will have the very masalic spiritual knowledge. Like how I told Yudhishthira, okay, this guy is a gambler. Arjuna, he's a womanizer. Like this, you know, they will dramatically give very wrong versions of the actual people, right? So we need them to give the actual version. So when irreligion is prominent in the family, Hare Krishna, 1.4, your turn. Go ahead. Go ahead. When irreligion is prominent in the family, O oh Krishna, the women of the family <coughs> become polluted. And from the degradation of womanhood, O oh descendant of Rishni, comes unwanted progeny. Hey Krishna, so he's telling very clearly, when a religion is prominent, what is happening? Women are polluted and degradation of family is happening and therefore you develop unwanted progeny. So, right, there is something called Garba Samstar. So, what is it? It's a huge puja which is taking place just like Graha Pravasam, right? Before you do enter the house, you do a housewarming ceremony. So likewise, before uh, the women conceives, there is this uh, procedure which is to be followed to get a very nice child. However, these days when you don't follow, right, you land up with any child. So that is what is happening. And now Arjuna sees failure of Varnashram system, the whole Varnashram. We are going to read in depth about this. Uh, and I will highlight what it means. So, var so basically, that is going to be a failure. So in 1.41, he still continues. Hare Krishna. An increase of unwanted population certainly causes hellish life, both for the family and for those who destroy the family traditions. The ancestors of such corrupt families fall down because the performances <coughs> for offering them food and water are entirely stopped. Thank you so much. So he says an increase of unwanted population is going to take place, right? Because of one more work which is going to happen. The ancestors, see, we always perceive, right? All our ancestors are all so good and they are directly in Guloka, Prindavan, Vaikunta. You will also see, uh, you know, anyone who writes the ob ob card, what do you call it? Yeah, so that they, on the 10th day or whatever, 10th day, 13th day, they will write... Uh, you know that um, uh, may uh, I uh, you know that this person has reached the lotus feet of Krishna, but actually has he reached? We don't know. Has he gone to hell? We don't know. But we always feel even our ancestors, however good or however horrible the person is, we don't we assume that he is reached. But the fact of it is, what is going to happen? Whatever is karma is not going to change. So we have to do these pujas, which means that we are going to offer. Uh, you know, uh, so what does actually Prithidhan mean? We are going to offer to Vishnu, satisfy Vishnu and tell Vishnu, 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 my ancestors are here. Please accept my, um, you know, respects and obeisances for you. And if there is any sin, no, to, to, to discount, you know, just give him a little bit of discount and uh, take him forward. Therefore, you know, you're just requesting Vishnu and then after that, you offer that food to your Prithra. But all that, there is no time, right? There's absolutely no time. So can you see the picture? So he's doing all this for Vishnu. Many of them don't know. They think that it is offered for the Pitra and they give a lot of items which the Pitra likes. No, you are not going to give it to them. You are giving to Vishnu to satisfy Vishnu. Right? So that is where it is. So degradation of society starts with the superiors. If they are killed, the dynasty is destroyed. That results in eternal family tradition being destroyed, which in turn results in irreligion. And then women get polluted and unwanted progeny, which is called Varna Shankara. Remember this word, Varna Shankara, right? will be prevailing. And all kind of community projects, family welfare activities are devastated. Total Kaya society. We don't need to have any doubt in this because we are experiencing this, right? So that is what is happening. So observing the armies in the battlefield, 39 to 42. So what is happening? Varna Shram system, it will fail, we told, right? So this is what is clearly said, right? So elders, all this purification we just saw, it's the same thing which we are expanding, which says that Varna Shankara will come, which leads the family to hellish condition. So the family goes to hell and the tradition is completely lost, right? And ancestors are not at all delivered. They are permanently there, right? And 
all this what will happen it is these are the risk of taking the walk further so comfortable right there is something called sanatana dharma which i told apara dharma which means that lower dharma that is everybody has two dharmas which you have to follow like you know family taking care of the parents taking care of the children uh, taking care of the society wherever you work working there all these are called sanatana dharma eternal dharmas which are there right we also have something called swadharma which means very important dharma i will tell you just two dharmas you think religious dharma is also important so many of them have a feeling which is to be dominant which one we should do which one we should not do so which one we should do is we should follow both you cannot tell what is more important food or water can anyone answer if i ask you which is more important food or water both water exactly. water both are, yeah so food without water you can't even cook so i'll give you everything raw you won't be able to even cook and you can't use so both are inevitable water you can't survive so you need both thank you so much so that is the situation so you need both to be parallelly taken care and many tell i don't have time i don't have time how do i do because they think that whatever they are doing is important but both are duties so let's read what 1.43 krishna has to what arjuna has to say krishna stops right only one verse he talks so let's see what arjuna is saying so and tell me uh, what are the duties prime duties sir Hare Krishna. Please again, please repeat the two dharmas, dharmas which are required. Chandra. There are two dharmas. Uh, what we tell is simple, right? The duty which we do to the family, nation, city, house, as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter, same way as a father, as a son, as a spouse, as a husband. These duties are one side which you have to do. <coughs> There is also one more duty which you have to do, right? Which is eternal. right eternal duty which sanatana permanent duties which you follow which are the duties for krishna following the regulative principles that is also duty. both are duties so which one should you do you can't weigh one over the other both have to be equally taken care so both have to be done at the same platform that is what we were telling hare krishna so we hare krishna all your questions uh, type in the chat we will address at the end again thank you so much hare krishna Uh, yes, Prabhu. Please. This is this. This two are the same thing. Paradharma and aparadharma. Yes, Prabhu. I'll explain that uh, at the end in detail again, Prabhu. To okay. you, just uh, leave the technology and technical terms. Get into the concepts which is which are more important. Uh, I'm just trying to introduce the technical terms because you will get familiar with them. But it's very difficult to grasp all the technical terms, right? Uh, so the concepts are important. Both the duties are there, right? Whatever is around and whatever. Para means superior always. Para actually means para dam para. Everything is you know about Krishna, right? Apara means whatever is material. Just a general concept. You will use these terms. You will come across very you know familiarly towards as you keep hearing. so i'm just but get the concepts very clear so one dharma is whatever duty we are doing and the other dharma is supreme superior superior in the sense what we are thinking of krishna serving krishna that's our duty so as of now both we have to do we cannot compromise one for another hare krishna thank you so much 1.43 who's going to read o krishna maintainer of the people i have heard by disciplic successions that those whose family traditions are destroyed dwell always in hell so very clearly oh krishna maintainer of people he is telling again janardana same explanation right maintainer of people i have heard by disciplic succession that those who family tradition are destroyed go to hell <coughs> now reference to the context so ashna is just not talking he is giving reference i have heard right that as per the reference so and so which i have heard i am not talking out of my head but i am talking out of my intelligence and memory of what i have heard that if you do not follow the family tradition i go to hell he is trying to do now is that the ultimate just like how we saw judge and the father we also saw right so these are things right what he read is not wrong but there is something else which is going to override which we will not know now let's wait for krishna to talk in second chapter So Arjuna's fear of sinful reactions continues in one point four four. Hare Krishna. Alas. Alas, how strange it is that we are preparing to commit greatly sinful acts, <coughs> driven by the desire to enjoy royal happiness. We are intent on killing our own kinsmen. Hare Krishna. So very clearly. 
that they are saying that you are preparing to commit great sins, right? Driven by desire because of that to, the, to enjoy royal happiness. He's thinking that you're fighting for the kingdom to enjoy the kingdom. So he is relating. Can you see all while Arjuna is talking about himself, his family, his relatives, my family, my relative, my happiness, our happiness. You know, he's relating it more that way. So he's concluding in 1.45. Better, uh, yeah. Better for me if the sons of Dhritarashtra weapons in hand were to kill me unarmed and unresisting on the battlefield. So he's telling better they kill me. I will be unarmed. All of you all took a, many of you all took a the decision I will die rather than killing my family. So he's also telling that he doesn't want to commit suicide because he knows he will be at the ghost. But he says I will die unarmed. I will not even resist. This is the mood of Arjuna at this point in time. With what mood did he go and what mood is he there? So look at Krishna's position. So uh, we'll come, right? So we'll still hear what Krishna uh, has to speak later. But currently, let's focus on Arjuna. Verse 1.46, Sanjaya is saying, Arjuna Sanjaya said, Arjuna, having thus spoken on the battlefield, cast aside his bow and arrows and sat down on the chariot, his mind overwhelmed with grief. So he is now sitting in the chariot. Imagine he was standing, he's shivering, he's sitting and look at Arjuna. He's like bending and seeing him. Right? So that's his position. Now imagine in the midst of the field. Remember, we are all there in the midst of the field. We are all there. All are, He is decided and we all feel he's absolutely right and he has dropped the Gandiva bow. A quick summary of this chapter, Arjuna's reason between 1.27 to 2.8, this section of the chapter. Prior to this, we saw a summary of Bhatta Vakshala, which means Krishna is the greatest, greatest Bhatta Vakshala, which means that he will do anything for the devotee. And the, the section B uh, starts off with the fact of his enjoyment, compassion, 27, 20, uh, you know, uh, till uh, 28, and enjoyment. Uh, 31 to 35. Now, what will happen is Krishna is also going to answer these, which we will see subsequently. And then destruction of family is 1.37 to 1.43. And saintliness, fear of the sinful reaction. We saw, right? Oh, no. Why? Because Arjuna is also called Raja Rishi. What does Raja Rishi means? Even though he is a Raja, his heart is as pure as a Rishi, right? He is so pure. He does not want to do anything. That's why he says saintliness of that. And he says, oh no, it will lead to a royal road. So all the four are covered here. And indecision is covered in the fifth. In the, the fifth is indecision and it is covered in second chapter. Look at him. Now his hand, he's sitting down. And you see, he's literally crying. Crying is an act actually in ecstasy as we saw. That is fine for Krishna. But if you're crying, you know, in a war field, imagine... You know, it's like, can we even tolerate our child going into the classroom, starts crying? I don't know if this answer, mom. Even if she does an LKG or he does an LKG, you think, Are, what happened to you? You know so well. It's okay even if you don't know. Yes or no? That will be our situation. Right? You won't tell it's okay. Crying only, no LKG child, okay. 10 standard only, no, it's okay. Doesn't matter. We'll repeat. Will we say that or we'll tell, no, 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 don't cry. Right? What will you say? Oh, you are okay with the children not writing the exam and coming back, or you want? Okay. Now I want. Oh, to you want them to do the exam? Exactly. So now look at the position, right? For exam itself, we feel like this. Now look at. We will see. Now we all entire chapter one. We are all friends. Arjuna is right. Now let's hear second chapter later. But prior to that, what can you relate yourself to? Do you relate compassion, sin, family tradition, or indecision? What is it you can relate yourself? Which quality of the five is something? Family is traditions. That's so nice. Thank you. Chat is open. You can type. Each of them can have a different answer. For example, mine will be indecision. I'll be very confused. As someone said, paralyzed, probably that could be my style. Mine is the compassion. Yeah, thank you, devotee Ravi. Yes, indecision. Compassion. Indecision. 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 Okay. No enjoyment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thank you, Hindu. No enjoyment. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, Charulata. Yes, compassion. Yes, compassion. Yes, prosen. And yes, yes, because yes, of compassion. Man. Yeah, correct. It's a package, right? Yes, yes, puja, indecision, family tradition. Yeah, true. 
Atriti, no enjoyment. Sai, uh, indecisive. Yes, devotee. Anir, one indecision. Yes, on now. Okay. And that's so nice, right? And this we saw. Uh, Dhritarashtra's enquiry, the whole observing the armies on the battlefield, he inquires, Kim Akurva, he's asking, what are they going to do? Will they eat masala dosa in a, a battlefield? No, no. But he's asking because he's scared. He, doesn't, he says, I don't want the war, but he wants the war. Then Duryodhana's fear, so evident, right? He took all this because of his fear. And that is what it means. And it is Mahatim Chamum Udham. And blowing of consciousness, Hidaya Vyadharaya, right? 12 point, 12 to 19, breaks the heart. And Arjuna's observation, Gandivan, Gandivan is so close to his heart, right? It's Shmasate Hasta drops the Gandhi from 20 to 27. Arjuna's reasons not to fight, right? He says, Apratikaram Ashashtram, right? So that is the situation 28 to 46. And with this, we are going to begin the chapter 2, right? This chapter and we will begin the chapter 2. So, quick update attendance is there, you all can mark. Uh, thank you. Prabhu for uh, logging in the attendance. Now, um, you, your questions, you can type in the chat and also do the announcements I wanted to make. So, I think you all enjoy this chapter. It's silent. Yes, yes, we enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much. Are you learning things extra from this compared to what you learned in chapter one in your yes. place? Yes? Yes. yes. It's more detailed. Yeah, more detailed. Yes. And also, uh, yes, thank you, Abhishek. Yes, we could understand more. Prema Mataji, yes, Mataji, Hare Krishna. Exciting. Thank you so much, devotee Prasad. Yes, Krishna. Yeah. So these are the two things which I want to ask. And there are three announcements I want to make. Uh, PPTs or notes. Uh, we have been asked not to share because we, uh, Prabhupada's book as it is, is what you have to refer. So we are requesting you to go through the book as it is. So, is there anyone here who does not have a copy of Bhagavad Gita? Because if you do not have a hard copy of Bhagavad Gita, we have posted yesterday a soft copy of Bhagavad Gita. So technically, please download and all of you all have that, right? One. So apologize. We won't be able to share class notes or PPTs, which we are not supposed to share. So there will be no notes in the level two. You can make notes and uh, that's about it. One. Second announcement is we have study groups called the Bhakti Vriksha study group which we will share in the group. You can join any one group. There are about four or five different timings. It will be weekly one hour or two hour. It is not compulsory but it will be convenient because what is expected in level 2 is you are expected to read the chapter and come before the session so that it helps you to take it you know to the next level to understand more. You have a one week time to read one chapter. Since we are uh, basically, you know, uh, not really clued to our chairs to read. We have created study groups. So what you'll do, study group is basically read. So they will be <laughs> reading. Hare Krishna. So these are the things. And also, uh, you know, I know some of y'all are requesting me privately to our admins uh, to, you know, if you can share the PPT. I'm so sorry. We are not authorized to share the PPT because our temple president has clearly told that we cannot share because books are not being read. So notes and PPTs for level two, we will not be able to share. Kindly apologize. I personally apologize. Kindly excuse us on that. And as I said, study groups, please create. And quiz, you can start answering wherever you went through the registration. Right? If you actually notice, you have a, a session over there which says clearly uh, in the website, you will have under the new quizzes. Okay, and select level two quizzes and give. It is all uploaded there. So you don't have to wait for any link. Th there will be no posting of this links here. We will only be posting attendance sheet here in Zoom. And we will also be posting Shraddha. Shraddha means a form which tells what are all the activities you do. Like you do Mangala, how many rounds of chanting you do. All this, you know, we do. Uh, so that is one thing. Uh, okay, yesterday I was there, but wasn't knowing how to mark attendance. So, okay. Prabhu, it's very simple. Let me just screen share it for you to mark attendance. Oh, if you go there, there is a link. So I'm just clicking the link and I will take you 
after clicking the link. So if you click the link, Prabhu, you know there is a link which <coughs> yes. Uh, sorry, Mataji, but uh, today I have marked it. Yesterday also I was there, but I didn't mark it. I understand. Uh, sure, we'll uh, just one second, uh, Mataji. Let me just sort that issue. So here, if you click, right, you will go to that particular sheet and automatically this sheet comes if you click. So here, my default email ID is taken. You can write, type in your email ID because if you are going to do that, you type your email ID, then your name, your mobile number, your current location, how many rounds you chant, that's all. And you can submit here. No, this is the same thing. Same thing every day we have to do it. The same format is coming uh, yesterday. Same also, form same every day. That is only Monday and Tuesday, Prabhu. We are meeting only. Okay, Monday. okay. Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, Monday but Tuesday yesterday also form. I was there, but I didn't. Yesterday, mark. okay. Uh, Mohandas Prabhu, if you still have the attendance sheet for yesterday, uh, you can put in. Other, if you have not done, it's okay, Mataji. First day, uh, we will. You can start doing it from the second day, but please focus on assignments. Uh, chapter one assignments are already loaded, so please go ahead and uh, okay. go ahead and uh, finish your assignments for chapter thank one. Thank you, thank you, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna, thank you. Or, Hare Krishna, Mataji. Is it on teachable? The concept, we don't use the word teachable. We use the word website. You went in. Sorry, the sorry. sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't have to be sorry. Even I will get teachable because uh, we started with teachables. Um, in the website, wherever you registered. Can, you can go and click and see you try because I want you all to try your level two. If you still have a challenge after the section, second session, first half, we will do an online session on how you can do the quizzes if you feel there is a challenge. Okay. okay. And Thank what you. we will do is we will release the chat every day for about an hour. Uh, if there are any questions when you're reading, you can post them there and we will reply to that even related to your quizzes and all. But my only request is, please do not forward anything personal, even related to ISKCON. Even related to ISKCON, Mangaluru, if it needs to be posted, admins will post one. Second, if there are any questions, I would request, you know, uh, I will answer or the admins will answer. Kindly refrain from answering, uh, you know, the questions because we are following the parampara, right? So each of them may have their own assumption of questions and answers. So for the beginning, for now, you know, we will answer the questions. If there are questions technical, like if a devotee is asking, how should I go to the website? I don't know. I'm definitely happy. If you all want to help, you can go. Any technical questions, feel free to answer and help each other. But any uh, specific question related to the subject, you know, I will be happy if uh, you leave that to us. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. So it's okay if you have signed in yesterday. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Uh, actually, in the first uh, level one also, we we finished that quiz and uh, this thing. Uh, then they, I have been told that it will uh, that your certificate, e certificate, will be sent through your email, but it has not been sent so far. How to get that certificate? Okay, uh, for e certificate, time. If you have not received, we will. Uh, who was your teacher in level one, Prabhu? Uh, Bandari. Okay, Bandari. So yeah, because Miss Rashmi Bandari. Rashmi Bandari. Okay, Rashmi there Bandari. will be an admin in that group. Can you reply? Because it will be easy for them. What we do, I will explain, Prabhu. Language wise, group wise, level one, they, if you write to them, they will write a kind mail to the admin and they get that certificates. Prabhu, you will not be mailed. You have to download the certificate. Have you tried downloading? Yes, yes. Once they sent only, then I can uh, download it, but they are not sent it. You can directly yeah. download the certificate. certificate. Yeah, there is an option. Uh, after you they will not send. Quiz. Yeah, after you finish the quiz, there is an option on the right hand side of our screen where it says download certificate. You just have ah. to click on that and download it. Thank you. So I did it. Got yeah, the right, Prabhu, because in the teachables only we had this provision of their mailing. Here, automatically you have to download and it will come to your system. So this concept of looting it is not there anymore. Uh, we are all that old batch of teachable. So we have this concept of downloading the certificate and they're sending it to us and we writing. Now there is, you can directly download it, Prabhu. If you have a challenge, then we will, uh, you know, take it up after the class next time. Because it's there in the website itself. That is why. Okay. Yeah, but still, still we are facing this um, distortion, the communication distortion, your voices sometimes. Yes, Prabhu, I'm trying to, uh, so sorry yeah. about 
and I'm trying to fix because, this. So. Yeah, because the chapter is more <laughs> he deals with the communication, Arjuna and uh, between Krishna and Arjuna, the communication is very clear. But whereas from communication... Yeah, yes, Prabhu, I understand totally. Uh, thank you so much for understanding and being patient. Hare Krishna, uh, we will definitely, you know, we are uh, trying to fix. Also, I am getting, uh, you know, remarks as to, you know, some are telling that let's mute everyone. I am absolutely fine in muting everyone and doing, but then I don't want to have a monologue. You know, it will be like only I am talking. So that is why I am giving you all the unmute option so that, uh, you know, you all can talk. My only request is when you're talking to somebody else in your house, please mute your mics because that disturbance is also we are hearing. Also, one more thing uh, is if there is any doubt in the chapter, I would request you all to type it in the chat or wait for the end of the chapter. Otherwise, what happens is we will come completely digress and we will address those doubts and we will lose the flow. So any topic or any doubts which are coming, let's hold for that chapter. Is that fine? Yeah. Yes, my lady. Yes, recordings are uploaded, Prabhu. Uh, it's in the playlist and we will share. We have already shared. We will share again. Recordings you can see. Recordings in the recording, you can't mark attendance. You can mark attendance only here. Prabhu has shared the attendance link. You can uh, do that. And if you have about five minutes, we have Prabhupada's video. Uh, I would want uh, that to be uh, shared. And before that, Vancha Kalpa the Rubyas Kripa Sindhubya Evacha Patidana Pavane Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna devotees. So let's move on to Prabhupada's video and then I will be back for answering the questions. Is that fine? Just a five minutes. Thank you so much, Ananya. Hare Krishna. Mataji, Mataji you told that you will share a story. Ah, so nice. Okay, sure. After Prabhupada's video, uh, after the question answer session, surely today I will tell a story. Hare Krishna. Om Finger is part and parcel of my body, yes. but its business is to serve the body. I ask the finger, come here. Yes, sir. It is doing like that. Yes. I ask the finger to come here. Yes. It yes. So it is the business of the finger. Yes, sir. Is to serve yes. the whole. Yes. It is part. Mm -hmm. And the body is the whole. Yeah. So therefore, the business of the part and parcel is to serve, render service to the whole. It, it, this is natural condition. Yeah. C'est la condition naturelle de, de, par, de partie, de rendre service à coup complet. Yes. I agree with this. Let me finish. Yes. And I think that uh, the vocation of uh, its creature is the service of God. Yeah. Yes. The service so of God. when the living entity forgets this business. That is material life. That is... Uh, oui. Quand il n'y a pas ce service, uh, oui. Quand, quand l'être vivant oublie ce service, alors c'est le mal. Alors c'est ça. Alors c'est ça. Uh, therefore, in this material world, yes. we find almost everyone yes. has forgotten God. Donc dans, dans le, monde, le monde matériel de trop, c'est tout le monde qui a été oublié Dieu. C'est cela. La conclusion est que ce monde matériel est créé. Est créé. Est créé. Est créé. Pour les forgotten souls. La, 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 la conclusion, oui. la conclusion c'est que ce monde matériel existe seulement pour les âmes qui ont oublié leur relation avec Dieu. Et ici, le business est de gagner. Revive them to God consciousness. Yes. Notre devoir dans ce monde, c'est de rajouter cette conscience. Yes. So the process of enlightening the living entity, especially the human being, mm -hmm. because in the animal form of life, mm -hmm. one cannot be enlightened. Yes. Neither the animal can understand. No, can understand. Yes. What is God? Yes. 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 It is only the human being yes. 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 who can understand. If he is trained, then he can come to God consciousness. Yes. 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 
it is told. So this creation is meant for the forgotten souls yes. to give them a chance yes. for reviving their God consciousness. Yes. Yes, yes, it is true. It is very, very clear. Yes. Very clear. Yes. And for this business, sometimes God personally comes, sometimes He sends His representative, His son, or His devotee, His servant. This is going on. Yes. God wants that yes. these forgotten souls yes. should come back to home, back to God. Yes. Therefore, from his side, yes. there is constant endeavor yes. to revive their God consciousness. Yes. Yes. Now, this God consciousness can be avid in the human form of life. Yes. Not in other form. Not to use it. Yes. Maybe very rarely, but. The human being, what is the water? He said he was coming with it. Uh, the human being has got the prerogative yes. to awaken his dormant God consciousness. Yes. So the best service to humanity is to awaken their God consciousness. Yes, it is to it is best side. Prabhu, yes, please go ahead. Amataji, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Prabhupada was saying that you know to, uh, to awaken the God consciousness, but some people also forget, no, Mataji, because of you know their luxuries, you know, because of their you know uh, position, they may forget also, right? Very perfect, uh, very nice question, Prabhu. Thank you so much, Hare Krishna. That is why they say, awaken. It is already there in your heart somewhere. Not your case. All of us have forgotten, Prabhu. So that is why Krishna has awakened. Now let's see, we have over 50, around 50, 55 of us here. Now tell me what has made uh, you all come here? Whereas others have not. There are about, uh, you know, 200 of them who've registered. 50, 55 of them have come here. So there is... God consciousness, and we are only seeing one group. Look at the entire world and the percentage who attend. So the God consciousness is there in everybody's heart, Prabhu. Just like how you said busy. You also have money. You are also busy. Right? You For you also, 6 o'clock is 6 o'clock. And for the others who are non-God conscious, also 6 o'clock is 6 o'clock only right now, Prabhu. It is not that you have an extra two hours. Correct, right? All of us have 24 hours. Do you have, uh, or do any of us here in this room have 26 hours? No. No, right? So why am I saying is, Prabhu, to forget, uh, you know, people have reasons. But to remember, the only reason is love. Because to forget, people will say, I don't have time. Some say, I don't have money. Some say, I have too much money. Right? Because we have so many reasons. So I had this uh, small group, uh, you know, which is our study group. And we had uh, one uh, Mataji who was saying that my house is very small. I have a, you know, two BHK. I just don't get proper sleep. Uh, so I don't know when to chant, right? I have, uh, you know, some problem or the other because somebody will be screaming. So for me, it's very difficult to get up for chanting. In the same group, we had another Mataji who had five rooms and she says, uh, you know, I have to sleep with my husband. The house is so empty. So if I go to the other room and chant alone, you know, I'm not very comfortable. But if I'm chanting in this room, you know, he feels it's a disturbance. So why am I sharing this with you is Prabhu, if we find reasons, we will always find reasons not to do. And if you need experience, you please speak to your children. They will tell why you didn't write the example because pen did not write. Refill got over. You got new refill, but that did not write well. Teacher was very angry with me. She pulled my paper. You just listen to them. They will give you so many reasons. And we are not different from them. We also give so many reasons, Prabhu. That is why I am telling. Excuse us. That is why is saying that vacant the. He is not saying going to create God consciousness. It's like that is a actual thing so it's if you do not have god consciousness in your previous hare krishna yes sir do you, i prabhu have a question um yes madaji can you hear me yes thank you, thank you. um i actually you, Arun, uh, you can uh, 
Yeah, sorry. Uh, I actually listen um, Bhagavad Gita's all chapters, uh, like on YouTube, general search. You know, I've, I've listened all all of them. Um, sometimes, you know, um, we we all know, know, we all have been brought up with modern education. You know, not not with that general traditional guru shishya parampara, which ideally should have been. But again, this modern education we have, so we're born with a certain mentality now. But when we understand Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, you know. When I read other, 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 I know other through YouTube, other YouTube channels, but Krishna says there um, to Arjun, like, you know, um, to always uh, do the karma, karma, and then karma is not about, uh, you know, that you do like a farming work or you, whatever generally we do in order to earn money or to, you know, earn our daily livelihood. Yeah. But then, um, so Krishna is in terms of Krishna, karm, karm means, you know, to, to do aradhana and then to do um, tap, basically to remember this. Now, sometimes, you know, this um, gets confused in my mind, you know, like, um, because I think whatever currently, let's say I'm doing my office work. Yeah. But then, then I remember those words from the Krishna and says that, okay, this is not the actual karm that I should be doing. I should not do this one. Um, rather than, you know, I just need to keep sitting and then, uh, uh, and then, you know, uh, chant Om and then like, like the method, which Krishna has told in the Bhagavad Gita. So how do, how do we, you know, come out of this kind of dilemma, uh, that we, uh, we get into. No, already have come half because think that you're in the uh, thing you know what is the biggest solution identifying your problem most of the time someone told bewilderment we are confused we don't know whether we are making a problem see now what is Bhagavad Gita told you it has given you an answer that you have a problem once you identify the problem I don't think it is difficult to solve you are finding it difficult because you just identified the problem but this problem has been with all of us since time immemorial. I'm not talking about since our birth now since so many births so the only thing which I request you is continue to chant, Krishna will give solution for everyone. Because initially whatever those two Matajis told, I will also explain someday my experience. That was very high for me also. But later I felt the solutions automatically. You just have to have faith. Shraddha is very important. You may, I'm just giving you a gyan, but just hold chapter read as you progress because this is the first day of our session, right? Literally second session of the first chapter. So we just have to hold on to that faith and you will automatically get revealed. One maturity I give to Arun Prabhuji to everybody in the class. After the 18 days, there will not be a single question which is not answered. If there is any question which is not answered, it means that I have not taught you correctly and we will revisit wherever we have those gaps and we will have it correct. That's a sure. promise which Krishna has given and Prabhupada is given and that's an assurity with their blessings, I should also be able to deliver to you. But if there is a gap, which I think all of us have, because I'm a human being, I will be subject to errors or missing out things. We will go back and pick those parts and complete it. So that, uh, you know, we can do this joint journey. Thanks. Right. Yeah, I think because, because, I mean, I definitely, you know, when reading all those 18 chapters or listening to all those, I, prior to that, I had many questions and then all, when I go through all the chapters, it had actually, you know, not just answer my questions, it has uh, removed my questions as, as well. Um, but then again, few dilemmas, which also keeps coming in the mind, probably yeah, I'll probably clarify as we go along uh, in the next 18 weeks. Because probably two things, one is you're putting it very generally. So I'm not able to address it to the point because I don't know exactly what, and this dilemma, trust me, all of us have, we all have dilemmas. And we will also have a lot of external dilemmas. People will create more dilemmas because we are in Krishna conscious. Give it time, automatically things will resolve. Because I'm talking out of not my experience, but out of a lot of devotees, senior devotees' experience. So that is why. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Thank you. So if there are uh, no further questions, I can start the story. Mataji. Mataji. Shamprasad here. Yes, Actually, the Prabhu question is, Karma means uh, chanting the Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. That is the, the there, there is confusion there. Karma means everything, whatever we are doing. But what Krishna is saying, don't uh, um, focus on the result, just to res uh, focus on the process. The, 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 the differentiation we have to understand. So that is, it. 
that, that differentiation we have to get in what, what is the karma and what is the this thing yes prabhu that is why i told him to wait for the next more in depth of all this karma till chapter 5 we will discuss karma karma so many times in fact till chapter the first six chapters in bhagavad gita is going to talk about karma karma yoga so that is why i want prabhu to wait and i understood that part of the question what i was addressing him i think he understood prabhu so he understood clearly what i was trying to tell him is that he has to wait to understand his cla- yes. to have clarity on the karma yes, right. yes 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 thank you so much prabhu thank you iskon for bringing bhagavad gita into the international level yes uh, devotee uh, dana pana shankar yes i totally agree and you are doing a nice job keep it going thanks a lot oh thank you so much prabhu it's really nice to hear that hari krishna so now uh, someone many of you all wanted a story but if you all are getting late and if you want to leave please go ahead i am going to tell a story and my stories will be with questions but not technical questions i just want to know in this group chat is open so you can go ahead and type right i am going to record this hari krishna so we today we are going to see about we are we are in the first chapter so we are talking about arjuna some part of you or if somewhere you feel that arjuna is not the right person for krishna to tell this to him that entire bhagavad gita was preached by arjuna, by krishna to arjuna is there anyone here who feels arjuna is not the right person or do you feel that there is a better person than arjuna whom krishna should have chosen the chat is open so i would request each one of you to type in the chat uh, if there if arjuna is the right person you can just say yes but if you feel there is a better person i would like to know who that better person name you think is yes 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 so many yeses but you can always have a different choice right mata ji mata ji yudhishthir hari krishna uh, mata ji hari krishna Yudhishthir was a pious person. Why not with Yudhishthir? Prabhu, please, uh, one minute. I will come for the explanation, Prabhu. Two minutes. You just give me your opinion. Then I will tell you the story. And then at the end, you know, we will take this discussion. So you uh, tell me, I'm, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to, uh, you know, yes, I'm going to, yes, yes, Prabhu, I will mute, no problem. I'm going to mute so that we have chats open and we have a lot of answers. So I'm going to just hear, uh, I think Yudhishthir, Uh, rama shankar okay thank you so much uh, itrajan okay vidura okay uh, devotee raja has said duryodhana deserves this knowledge more yudhishthir believes so i am not knowledgeable enough to comment kiran <laughs> that was a very sweet answer but none of us are knowledgeable enough if we keep telling that we won't be able to answer any questions so you just have to it's a view it's not about knowledge it's a view like as of today we all feel what arjuna is doing is perfect likewise i would like each one of you to share a view you know either you feel arjuna is correct or if you don't feel arjuna is correct you may even feel that i am the best person why arjuna why not me i am not seeing any names you can even type your name telling you are better i mean or you may be a right person right so as you keep thinking and typing let me dive into the story of after baha bharat right after the entire yuddham this yuddham got over right after this what happens you know uh, right uh, uh, you know yudhishthira becomes the king and arjuna goes to dwaraka and there he starts his kingdom now where am i coming from is after he became the king of dwaraka after few uh, days or months in fact arjuna comes to visit right Ar- so this is sort so arjuna comes to visit krishna and uh, arjuna is the best person because of his immense trust okay so many answers are coming arjuna is the best because of this okay lovely lovely answers Uh, karna is also worthy but his association is wrong so these are the answers which are coming so we have yudhishthira you have karna you have even duryodhana in competition but for a different balance so therefore now let's see the story and relationship of arjuna and krishna so arjuna is visiting krishna and obviously krishna is coming till the door right she comes at the gate to receive arjuna totally right right if our cousins are coming we will also go and stand at the door krishna takes him to his palace now you'll be wondering what palace so we all have in our house guest room but krishna is having a palace so he has palaces for his queens and he has a palace guest room for you know also so when arjuna comes krishna takes him to you know a separate palace you know which where he makes you know uh, arjuna stay and he talks with him on and on and on and goes on and that is the day satyabama you know he was with and he excused and came here 
So Satya Bama is waiting, you know, Krishna is going to come, Krishna is going to come, Krishna is going to come and finally Krishna doesn't come. So, you know, she is um, two things. One is Satya Bama is someone who is very bigger and she would always like to know. So she immediately walks to the guest palace of Arjuna and Krishna and wants to see what's happening. You know, why Krishna, okay, whole day is fine, but at least night he has to come back. Right. And when she sees, she was shocked to see that Krishna, both of them sleeping is fine. But then Krishna's face is next to Arjuna's leg. It's like this close. Like it's like both of them sitting and talking and, you know, they fall off the sleep. And then Arjuna's leg is almost touching Krishna's face. So there is one style, right? Uh, we women have this tendency that we will treat our husband to any level, but we only have that privilege, right? We do not like somebody else uh, treating them badly. And that too, imagine Satya Bama at that time. The only difference is if it is current generation, we will barge in and knock it. What is happening? But those times, you know, the women were more polite and, you know, they followed a lot of uh, this. So she felt very bad and she left and she didn't sleep the whole night. And next day, when Krishna came, she asked, she said, I'm okay. I understand you have a friend and you've been speaking and you are like cousins by blood born together. And this is going on in your journey. But, you know, but what is this? This is not accepted because you are, you, you know, Arjuna's leg is actually on your face, right? That is something which I can't tolerate. So Krishna told Satya Mama, he was very smiling, right? And he said, no problem. Tonight I will not go. I will stay here, but you will go. Satya Mama is taken by shock. Oh my God, you know? And those days it's not very common. She says, how can I go to another grastas, other, uh, you know, house of another man uh, or room of another man? Krishna say, don't worry. I am telling, please go ahead and see. So Satya Mama says, okay, uh, you know, you can't really uh, go against Krishna's persuasion, right? So she says, okay, and uh, she goes and she's going near the room and she is hearing speaking voice. She hears somebody is speaking. Now the chat is open, right? Can you please, uh, you know, can, the chat is open and therefore you can type what, uh, what do you think, you know, who is there? Arjuna is there. Don't tell me Arjuna's name. Arjuna is very much there. Who else is there? Because she hears the voice, right, from inside. So whom do you think is there? Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Chanting. Krishna. Krishna. Hare, so much trust we have in Krishna. Krishna has promised Satya Bama he will not go there. And you all are so confident that Krishna will not keep up that promise to Satya Bama. So now uh, Satya Mama has very similar doubt. Who is there? And she is walking in to the room and turning and seeing Arjuna. Arjuna is sleeping. So now, uh, you know, Arjuna doesn't lie or act. So he's sleeping genuinely. So she goes searches here, there, and she hears the voice. And she is not able to spot anyone. She's searching and she sees that Arjuna is keeping his lip close and sleeping, but she is able to hear the voice of uh, you know, uh, of some voice. And Arjuna is not talking or chanting because his mouth, lip is sealed. She checks that or she goes near and the voice is louder, but he is not, he's really deep asleep. So he is not, um, you know, talking or chanting or anything. He is sleeping. So she is so confused and she is on her search. And later she just goes near his leg and she hears Krishna, Krishna. So, you know, every nerve cell, right? Every nerve cell in the Krishna's, uh, you know, thing is having that kind of a, so Krishna is telling, he's singing, he's chanting. So Krishna is actually uh, chanting, Krishna is not chanting, Arjuna is not chanting, Krishna is in his room, Arjuna is in his room, but what is happening is, there is this um, leg, the nerve over there is also speaking, the blood, nerve, everything is telling Krishna's name. That is when she understood that there is no difference between the mouth or head of Arjuna and the leg. And Arjuna is so elevated, even in his deep sleep, right? He is only thinking of Krishna 24 bar 7. And this is his power of devotion. This is the beauty of Krishna. And this is the relationship of Arjuna. We are thinking Krishna drove a chariot, which is very great of him. But what is the speciality of Arjuna is he cannot think of even a moment without Krishna, even for a moment. So that is when she understood. And until then, she thought she's the greatest devotee of Krishna. She immediately comes and apologizes to Krishna. She says that I'm the greatest devotee. And I was very, uh, you know, envious about, you know, why you were giving importance to Arjuna. 
And now I understand that we cannot even go close to Arjuna. Arjuna is so, he's an eternal associate of Krishna and he's always, always been there. He was actually there in, uh, in the previous yuga also as Nara Narayana and he also appears is in, uh, you know, in, uh, in his next, when he came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, also Arjuna appears with, uh, you know, Krishna. So that is a speciality. They are permanent. Now answering your three more questions from here, why not uh, why not somebody else so prabhus and mataji's if you want to tell your secret or the best thing in your life whom will you tell to will you tell your best friend or your worst enemy you like let's say that you bought a car or something best friend okay prabhu you want to tell your best best friend all of you want to tell best friend see you all want to tell your best friend but you want krishna alone to go and tell duryodhana who so envious what is this rule you have one rule and you have a different rule for krishna is it fair so Krishna will also tell someone who is very confidential and best for him, right? So that is why he chose him. That's one. Second, Karna. Two things. You're absolutely right. Karna is very good, but with a bad association. Yes. There are a lot of things Karna is great about, like his charity and other things. But there are a lot of things which Karna is actually, right? When Krishna and Arjuna were Nara Narayana, Karna was one of the Asuras in the previous Yuga. And therefore, they were, that's a, another story which I will explain in length. So he was an Asura in the previous birth and therefore he entered the sun to save himself. And, and where is where am I coming? So Karna, because of bad association is one. But there were many situations because of bad association, he had crossed the line. Example, Draupati. He had insulted Draupati. He was, he partook his in killing of Ashwatthama. He was there. So these were not the acts even if he had to fight the war, it's fine. But he actually did a lot of things. He could have changed his friend and brought him. If he had not failed, he should have left. Just like, you know, what, who, what is the name of Ravana's brother? What is the name of Ravana's brother? Which is where I was talking about. Kumbhakarna, yes, but that's a villain brother. Vibhishna. Vibhishna is someone who knew his Ravana was bad and left him at once. So therefore, any bad association irrespective of relationship, we should try our best to change because we will get influence. So that is why you see Arjuna so strong and Krishna gives this situation of bewilderment so that Bhagavad Gita will come to us. Right? So this is where it is. Now Yudhishthira coming to it, yes, Yudhishthira is right. But who surrenders to him and tells, please, Yudhishthira is not confused. He's clear. He wants, he's, because he is in the path of Dharma. Right? But who is close to us? If you see us, we can relate ourselves more to Arjuna's quality. We may not have his potency or talent. That is different. But can you relate? Many of you all were able to relate to one of his quality. Many were telling even I will do like this. Right? So there is commonality in Arjuna because Arjuna is more a common man. Yudhishthira is more a perfect man. Like Yudhishthira, Rama, they are examples of Dharma, perfection. Arjuna is also a perfect person, but he relates to, you can relate yourself to Arjuna more. Unlike you can't relate yourself to a Rama, even though he's a God or Yudhishthira, even though he became and brought heaven on earth. Actually, Yudhishthira brought heaven on earth and Yamadharma Raja is wondering, oh my God, if Yudhishthira is ruling, I have no role to play. Right? That was the situation. So, now I hope I have answered your question and you are little bit convinced that Arjuna is the right person. Hare Krishna. Where is so much silence? If there are any other questions, uh, uh, is there any other questions you can talk? If not, we can end the session with one Hare Krishna. And when I'm telling Hare Krishna, I want all of you. If you're convinced, thank you so much. Hare Krishna. All good. No, actually, actually yeah. I, remember, I remember when you say, uh, when you mentioned about this, that uh, in the, we should not be in bad influence. Like even if we hear all the provisions and on, they say, you know, um, uh, this is an example, like like an oil uh, remains float, keeps floating on the water. Uh, so we should be oil, like, you know, even if you are in bad influence, we should remain there uh, as an, you know, as a separated out. But then uh, you should not be there in the bad influence for a long period, because even if, even if the oil remains there for long, it will get, you know, uh, spoiled there for long. Yeah? So uh, we, even if you are there for some time, but just stay separated. But then don't even, you know, stay for long. Sure. We understand. And thank you so much for that. And 
Yes, we will go ahead and uh, we will do. Uh, that's a very valid point. Your association, right? Sangha, Sangha association is so important. So, nectar of instruction clearly tells which are the uh, things we should do, which you should not do. But in brief, you know, coming back to Bhagavad Gita, your point is absolute. So, we should not stay for long with a bad association. Hare Krishna. Uh, on uh, this, we will share in the uh, WhatsApp group the all the timings which are available. Please click yourself in any one and you can join the study group. Hare Krishna. We will see <laughs> if there are existing study groups where you can start from chapter one. Otherwise, you all can create your own study groups because this is chapter one. You all are starting, right? So you all can also create study groups among yourselves. We'll try and see today. If it is not possible, next week we will start all over. There is no quiz link. You have to go back to your registration, Mataji. Registration where in the website, wherever you've registered, there it's the quiz uh, is posted. And you can select level two quizzes and attend. Yes. So if there are any other questions, if there are no other questions, yes. Uh, thank you so much, Neetu. Our uh, admin has posted the web Mangaluru website. Maybe you can click and go there. Hare Krishna. Yes. So we will end the session with this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna devotees. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. We'll, I'll end Hare the meeting. Hare Hare. Hare, Hare Krishna. Mata.